park view, one of the first things to keep in mind, um, like I, I texted you, this brick seems to be just the aesthetic choice that they made when they built the house. But you don't want to keep in mind, all this is wood siding, so that is a lot of maintenance. Wood trim as well around the garage doors, wood trim on all your fascia and your soffits. So it's an, another aesthetic choice that the original owners made. Um, but it, it does need maintenance. It's all wood trim right there and wood siding up there as well. So lots of wood. So um, it's maintenance. Every couple years you're going to have to either paint it or have it painted. Landscaping is really, really nice. So the place was built in 85. It's four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 3,442 square feet with a partially finished basement. We'll see what that entails. Hear the puppy. So right in the front door here, really nice wide plank hardwoods. And then to the right to start. So come inside. Let me give you a view from the front door here. So you've got your dining area right here. Another nice little dining space. Windows around two panes. I really, I really like these floors. That'll take us down to the basement. We'll check that out for a few minutes. There's your laundry area. It's a really nice size laundry area too. Closet space. Nice to have in the long run, keeps all your detergents and such kind of out of the way. Really big garage, three car total, insulated doors, updated openers. Really nice amount of space in there. Come back out, we're gonna keep going to the right. Kitchen, all granite countertops. Let's see if they got the soft clothes. Well, the soft clothes cabinets, but not a huge, huge deal. Give you a look at the backyard here. Tons of yard here. You're sitting on over half an acre, 0.62. Huge, huge yard. Tons of privacy back there as well. I mean, right away, guys, I'm thinking this has you guys written all over it. I really like that refrigerator as well. All the appliances are included. Um, they got the dryer marked as being included, but not the washer. Which is kind of odd, but if you're interested in the washer, we can write it in the contract, but it's kind of an old set in there. Now, look out your patio a little bit more here. It's a huge, huge yard. wet bar which is really nice it's a wood burning fireplace really really nice setup we'll check all that out here shortly here's your wet bar let's go off over here check out the areas over here coat closet here First floor bedroom, not the master. First floor bedroom. And back in here, you've got this is almost like a guest suite on the first floor because you've got its own little bathroom back here, shower included. And they run these floors all the way through. Really, really nice floors. Think it over how much I like those. And then a nice amount of closet space. In there. And these are solid doors too. These are not hollow core doors, these are all solid. Let's go upstairs first. Give you the overlook here. It's a decent carpet. It's nothing crazy special, but it is a decent carpet. Top 
floor guest bath. Bedrooms are a really good size too. Impressive amount of closet space. I was expecting something a lot more shallow. This has got the double wide closet. Not a walk in, just kind of a sliding door closet. And coming into the master. Just over here for you guys, give you the panoramic. It's a king size bed and it fits very well in here. We got the sliding barn door onto the master. Not a bad look for that tub, a little bit dated. I personally like the subway tiles with the dark grout and they glaze the tub to match, you know, the grout and the uh, solid surface countertops here. So actually a nice setup, not a dual vanity setup right here, but you do have your other one over here. So you do have the dual vanities. Tile work is nice. There's your linen closet there. And you've got a nice size closet in here. And then you have your separate commode and shower room. And one of the one of the um, nice parts that I've seen or haven't seen in the house. I haven't seen any brass or any gold fixtures. Everything's been updated pretty well, including like your ceiling fans and all that. So really nice, really nothing you need to do in here. I mean, even like your fixtures here, the little chandelier right there is really, really nice. So they've stuck with the uh, nickel, the brushed nickel look all the way through here. Very unique house. Definitely doesn't have the feel of those newer construction cookie cutter homes. Really nice amount of space down here. I was not expecting to have this much space. You've got that side there. You've got this side over here. They're using as their workout room. Let's see if we can find some mechanicals. Make sure the aesthetics aren't gonna overwhelm us with the actual concerns of the house, the furnace, the air conditioner, the water here, things like that. All right, so, I see the room and the switch. Okay, cool. So, it's a train unit. Now, you are all electric here on a heat pump so let's take a look at our water heater here let's see a date there on it looks to be maybe five years old your fittings are super clean um no corrosion or buildup or anything like that all copper lines which is nice and then you have a train unit for the furnace it was just installed 2018 which is nice And you have a water softener here, which kind of throws me a little bit when I see water softeners, especially in Huber Heights, or not Huber Heights, but Centerville. Um, Centerville's water is usually already softened by the city, um, but you can bypass those pretty easily. And then you have your basement bath. And this space back here as well. Really nice amount of space.
I like this house. Um, nothing's creaking, nothing is uh, settling funny. Your mechanicals, water heater, furnace, air conditioner, all that are in really good shape. So to the point where you probably won't have anything to worry about for quite some time with any of these. Let's take a peek out back. I really just want to make sure that air conditioner matches the, um, the furnace. So, and here is your backyard. Nice patio, not really nice concrete work. You do the pressure washing, but that's no huge deal. Let's see where our AC unit is. Hear it. It's nice that you're fenced all the way around as well. Oh yeah, that's that's all. That's only within a couple of years. That's newer unit. That's your heat pump there. Yeah, but it seems like the brick is consistent all the way around. Um, there's some spots like right there. It needs a pressure washing, but again, not a huge, huge deal. Quiet back here. Like I said, you're in this little tucked back neighborhood right in between Centerville and Bellbrook. Give you a shot of the back of the house. Three-dimensional roof up there. So your big money items are taken care of. Your cosmetics are taken care of. Your um, functional is all taken care of. Um, so really, it's just a matter of uh, falling in love with the area, which is easy to do back here. Um, and making sure the layout of the house fits what you're looking for. But this house has you guys written all over it. Give you one more quick walk around before I exit. Here's our kitchen. It's nice that that window overlooks the backyard as well and the patio. I really like that glass backsplash right there. Because um, you are in the basement, you could change that out for gas if you wanted to. That's this one guys and you can see there on the fireplace too they ran that brick from the outside inside as well for the mantle very nice very nice all right i'll be sending this shortly